Okay, so uh, here's the, the computer then that I, I'm using to uh, run my Vixen 3 uh, software uh, to my Arduino Mega 2560, which is powering uh, my solid state relay boards, uh, eight channels on each one, and I've got four of those running, uh, which you could have seen in my previous video. Uh, what I'm going to go through now is just a quick setup, um, uh, some basic information that you need to know about getting your Arduino Mega talking to your computer uh, and so that you can start using the software um, to uh, program in your lights. Uh, like I mentioned before there is a, a great piece of co uh, software which I use which is Vixen. Um, you can find this on the internet, it is free to download, it's been set up by a group of uh, computer engineers in uh, the States I believe who have just come together to put this piece of software together um, to help everyone out uh, and they've made it free as well so they use their spare time just to program all these things in and they're constantly putting updates um, which is brilliant um, so it's a brilliant piece of software, I'll put the link in go and have a look at it, um, it'd be great to use um, there's lots of things you can use on the software I don't use hardly half of it because I'm just still at a very basic stage of getting my lights basically to come on and to switch off at a certain time in the song uh, there's different things you can do, you can do um, a pulse with music, you can do fade ins, fade outs um, different Christmas light tricks you can do as well and displays depending on what you're doing um, and how your setup is but there's lots and lots of things this piece of software does but I'm just using it pretty much for basically for now at the moment just to switch my lights on and off this is only my second year doing it so I don't want to jump too far ahead of myself really at the moment uh, keep things nice and simple um, so I've got my Arduino Mega plugged into my computer using a USB uh, cable um, I'll just quickly show you here there's my Arduino Mega. At the bottom there you can see the orange uh, cable here. It comes down and it's plugged into my laptop here, down in my port, COM port here. My, uh, the bottom of the computer. Um, this is my notebook I've got here. Um, so I'm a note yeah, my notebook um, computer. I only use this for my light display. I don't use it for anything else for work or anything like that. I've just purely got it all free. It's just got my software on it and that's it. The reason I do this is that so I know the computer is not going to get any more glitches in it, confirm any, any viruses or anything like that and it keeps the CPU down as well on the computer so that um, when you're running your show it runs as smoothly as possible without no glitches. Um, so first thing you do is to make sure that we can get your your uh, your Mega 2560 registering with your computer. Um, now to do this you just like you're plugging in a printer, some computers will automatically install a piece of software um, sometimes you may have to uh, manually install it. If you need to manually install it, then go to the Arduino website. Uh, on there, there's some uh, how-tos on how to install the Arduino to the computer. Um, I was fortunate enough that my computer just um, automatically installed it. Um, you, even though it's automatically installed, you still need to do a few things, move arounds, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but that way, it came up straight away on my computer. Um, if it doesn't do that for you, then... Um, do look at the website and they'll, they'll be able to tell you on there, direct you on what you need to do for the installation purpose. Um, so once I've got my computer plugged in, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, your control panel on your computer, uh, like I've got here. Um, go to System, double click on System, uh, this will upload your system properties. Go to the Hardware tab, click on Hardware, then go to your Device Manager, and this will bring out your Device Manager. If you know any other ways of getting to your Device Manager, then obviously that's fine. Um, I'm running uh, Windows XP here. Um, different versions may be may uh, alter your shortcuts or where where it's to. But the aim is you need to get to your Device Manager. Uh, you can probably just go to Command Prompt and just type in Device Manager, and it'll take you to it. Um, once you've got that, the first thing you make sure you need to do is make sure that before you do any of this, is make sure that your Arduino Mega is plugged into your computer, um, so that your devices is there. Um, then you get Device Manager up, come to the bottom there, you'll see then you've got a tab for ports, just open up the ports. Here then it says Arduino Mega 2560 COM3. This is telling me that it's in COM port 3 to the moment, that it's been assigned to COM port 3. You'll need to go through your computer to make sure that your Arduino Mega is assigned to a COM port that is readily available, it's free, that's got nothing else running on it. There's hundreds and hundreds of COM ports, which I'll, you'll see in a minute, but you need to go through your computer and find out which one has got nothing connected to it. Find a blank COM port. Uh, and then you need to assign it. Okay. The way you do that then is you just click on Arduino Mega, highlight it, right click, go down to Properties. This will then bring up uh, your Arduino Mega Properties. Okay. You can then go, you've got the general port settings, driver and details. Go to your port settings. Um, your bit per second, this is your, your board rate. Okay. You need to make sure that this is exactly what is in your sketch, which I'll show you in a minute, which we'll come to in a minute. Okay. You need to make sure this all matches up that this number here is the same as what's in your Arduino sketch and is also what is the same in your Vixen 3 software. 
So this way all these three will be talking together at the same time. Um, if this is off, then you'll have a few problems. So you need to make sure your board per second, your board rate is at 9,600. 9, Different settings there, um, but obviously 9,600 is the one.